Peace, fam. Um, just out here, about to drill some holes in this bucket. Um, but I wanted to say something real quick. Uh, for those of you who are in places like California or Arizona, um, you know, wherever you may be dealing with uh, water shortage or, you know, you might have a drought situation going on where you're not really getting much rain. Um, what I would do, and I'm not telling you what to do, and I'm not, you know, this is just what VA would do. As opposed to drilling holes at the bottom, I would drill holes along the side, like maybe for a bucket like this, right around an inch and a half or so up. For something like this, I'd go up a little bit past this first lip here. I've seen uh, Robbie and Gary and also Led do it, but just to kind of keep some water in there so that if you go through a, a period of time where you're not getting any rain, or if they ask you to you know, conserve water, at least your plants have something to, uh, you know, have something to drink. The thing is like, if you have young trees or just plants, you know, the root system is not gonna get down that far to where it'll start uh, causing issues. But what it will do is that moisture will get sucked up into like the dry soil. And then that'll provide the roots that are up around here with, you know, with water. And then, you know, when they get established enough, when they get large enough, you know, they'll be, able, they'll be fine with something like that. Um, for like your flowers or, you know, like say your, uh, just kind of your vegetables, they're not gonna ever get down that, well, I'm not gonna say never, because there are some, they're not gonna, they're generally not gonna get down that far. But I would leave that bit of space just to have a water supply or water reservoir there, you know, in case you run into a problem. Alright, but that's just what I would do. Y'all let me know your thoughts. Peace.